Welcome back. The nation recently marked the 14th anniversary of the passage of the Affordable Care Act. Now state and federal officials are reflecting on progress and what still needs to be done to make health care more affordable. Fox 61 political reporter Emma Wolforce spoke with lawmakers and advocates. She joins us now in the newsroom with more Emma. Sarah, Brent, Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy and state comptroller Sean Scanlon hosted a roundtable discussion this afternoon. They say in the 14 years since the ACA, Connecticut has been a leader in health care affordability, but they recognize a lot more work still needs to be done. It's dramatically changed the lives of many of our patients and our families all across the country. 14 years ago, then President Barack Obama signed the Affordable Care Act into law. Just think back before the ACA. A patient with a heart disease, diabetes, or a child with asthma couldn't get coverage. Why? Because the insurance company considered those a pre-existing condition. Wednesday, federal and state lawmakers met with health care advocates to discuss how far the industry has come and what work still needs to be done. The good news is we have not been standing still over the last 14 years. Right, We have continued to improve the ACA. We've continued to add benefits. Some of it happens automatically, but some of it still takes state leadership. But some are concerned there isn't enough education to actually make residents aware of their options. My chronic fear is we pass all these laws. We do all these policy changes and in the bubble that is the capital people know about them we fight about them but then the people who actually can benefit from these programs don't always hear about them and advocates agreed there needs to be more communication definitely on the state level if more information could be put you know, out there on the news for people to see. They also talked about efforts currently in the works, like federal and state proposals to decrease medical debt, expand Medicaid rates, and tackle prescription drug costs. No one should ever be charged from one year to the next more than a 2 or 3 percent increase in a drug that's already on the market. In Connecticut, multiple bills have already passed out of committees this legislative session related to health care, one package specifically targeting drug affordability. Affordability. For me, it really is an ideology fight that's going on here in the state, and it's about do we do we believe that all citizens have a right to health care? Murphy and Scanlon both reiterated a message today of not taking the ACA and all this work for granted. Scanlon saying he doesn't want this to be the last anniversary celebration, and Murphy adding the country is, quote, just one election away from access to affordable health care being limited or repealed. But many of the advocates at today's discussion say they do feel optimistic about the proposals currently moving through the legislature and the future of health care in Connecticut. In the newsroom, Emma Wolforce, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.